Personally, I'm great. I know, of course, I look very crusty because your girl just woke up. Okay, cut me some slack. I just woke up literally to make the intro for this video. I've never really filmed like from this angle, and the sun rises from like my bedroom window, so that's why you guys can see all of this. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'm in a very good mood today, anyway. As you guys see from today's title, this is going to be a um, self-care vlog, basically. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I've been trying to lean my content more towards, like, vlogs. Like, even if I'm doing, like, a, my previous video, what I eat in a day, I'm going to make it, like, in a vlog style or errands, like, in a vlog style. Because I've come to realize that, for me personally, my strong suit is the vlogs now hear me out i know you guys like the visual diaries i know you guys like the cooking series and everything which for me those videos are what i assume when i have creators block which is basically where i run out of ideas on what content to film so i make like a cooking series a visual diary or something but i realized that i don't really like i don't really enjoy filming those videos as much as i enjoy vlogging like in as much as yeah you guys want to learn how to cook guys want to learn like you know like my visual diaries i think i've only i've only made like three or two um yeah you find that you know it's gonna have like a good message and everything but i don't like i don't i don't really enjoy filming them because there's so much technicality when it comes to filming like a video diary or filming a um cooking series because of like camera angles and everything and it's exhausting <laughs> doing the cooking series is cooking series and uh, video diaries but i'm going to lean more towards including like in my what i ate in a day i included me making like food in my actual videos because i realized that i don't actually include me cooking in lots of my vlogs because i have like a separate series for that but i'm gonna start doing that more because i kind of enjoy the vlogs more and you guys also seem to enjoy them more because even out of all the videos that you guys um watch my vlogs are the ones that have the most views. I'm not doing this to get like more views. I'm looking at my analytics and seeing what my subscribers, you guys, like um to watch. So I'm taking a break from doing the cooking series, the visual diaries for now. And even like I think this holiday, I'm planning on giving you guys like, like a weekly lookbook. I remember someone asked me um about you know i like how you dress that kind of thing so i'm planning on giving us a weekly lookbook because i have like lots of pickups in terms of clothes lots on the way um so not now maybe in like three weeks but yeah but otherwise i'm gonna be doing vlogs like we'll just be vlogging um i was speculating how to film this video because i wanted it to be it's a self-care video what what do you call this a video diary where i don't talk and you just see what i do but it's gonna be a self-care video because let me just break this down to you guys so that my nose looks so huge <laughs> let me just break this down to you guys so for me self-care involves okay self-care is um what's the word self-care is self-care is relative okay it it means something different to different people i think i've actually done a self-care vlog um, self-care visual diary or something like that but it's um relative to people like it's it's not the same thing to everybody so for me i'm gonna be taking you guys along today because this is like a self-care vlog so for one i'm doing my hair i unbraided my hair yesterday because i'm tired of it <laughs> and i've only had it for 
I had it for like two and a half weeks, the corners that I did, which was shorter than I expected to have it because don't get me wrong, the hairstyle was nice, but I just felt like it wasn't like my strong suit. If that makes sense, like, eh, okay, no. Yeah, I just felt like, nah. I need like new hair because for me when I get tired of hairstyles, even like me, which it becomes hard because I don't really feel as confident. My nails are still intact though. They're gonna be two weeks or on Friday. So yeah, so I'm gonna do like a ponytail and everything. Then I'm probably going to go for lunch, solo date, and then we're going to come back and wanna go wanna do like a face mask and a girl talk. I I didn't know how I was gonna film this because I wanted to include I didn't want to you guys know like I hate sit down videos but i was like i haven't done a girl talk in a year literally like the last girl talk i did was around this time last year and i figured i mean maybe she has some sister advice you know so i was like yeah i feel like i'm gonna include everything in this video i don't know how long it's going to be i've been talking for 10 minutes and it's only 6 a.m in the morning but yeah so we're gonna go along self-care day together um my morning will be spent out like i said i'm going to do my hair then i'm going to go for taking myself out for lunch because i deserve it and then we're gonna come back and then do like a face mask girl talk here and there and then, yeah so see where the video takes us i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and comment down below um okay like i said i'm going to be doing vlogs right like vlog i'm going to be doing vlogs so even if you guys tell me like we want um I don't know okay i don't know what i'm saying at this point i feel like i'm just mumbling so comment down below any video ideas that i can do in a vlog style that you guys want to see someone dm me yesterday asking me to do a mukbang which i've been wanting to do for a long time but you guys know like mukbangs are expensive i don't know if you guys know this but you have to like buy lots of food and everything and right now it's not really you know my money is going elsewhere so just let me know in the comments that you'd like to see like on my channel in terms of vlogs i'm not talking about i'm not talking about pranks i don't do those things i'm not talking about um mm, vlogs please thank you so yeah i will see you guys um probably like when i get out of the shower i'll show you guys my outfit i already have an idea because i want to take like some nice pictures in the car after like, getting my hair done because i need like a new a new proper picture so yeah my skin is like low-key breaking out, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys again probably when I shower, so. just got my hair done it looks so cute oh my gosh like i'm actually obsessed with this ponytail i was i wasn't sure whether i was going to look cute in a short one i'm trying to look for perfect light angle i'm in the driver's seat yes um but yeah so i'm still at the mall i'm currently at ecl mall so i'm supposed to go meet my mom she's getting her nails her toenails done i lucky also want to do mine but nah because the side coming out already but i think i'll do that next because i'm gonna come and redo this ponytail next week because it looks so nice so yeah guys this is my fit i'm wearing purple jacket this top i got from the fix is from um fashion world my jeans are red bad jeans and my all-star converse that's the outfit for today so yeah today it's going pretty good actually and yeah it's self-care day guys <laughs>
Yep. Guys, okay, so um it's like a couple of hours later. I think the last clip that you guys saw should have been when I was buying food and all of that good stuff. But like I said, this is a self-care vlog, right? And I'm gonna include a grow talk as well because i feel like i haven't done one of these in such a long time and i was like why not include a girl talk in this video so i know my face okay my face is a little <laughs> but that's because while we're gonna be doing this um what are we doing while we're going to be doing this q and a girl talk thingy thingy i have with me a face mask that i bought from the pharmacy like two days ago i should have to take a picture of this because yeah to put on the thumbnail i haven't tried a face mask like this before and i'm kind of scared but i figured like since it's a self-care video why not try it you guys know like for my face i use um butone butone cream and glutamide soap so that i use for my face so this is gonna be this isn't something that i use all the time i'm going to try it for the first time and then i'll give you guys like a review not really like a review but like okay this hair is so cute i'll give you guys like a review on the on the face mask and that kind of thing okay i was gonna use the ring light but i'm like now nah, the natural lighting actually looks way better i got this top from 
the fix for you guys are wondering i've forgotten how many clothes but i got from the fix some time back so yeah so before i start answering the questions i know i sound like a little bit low it's because i'm tired guys like i've had such a long day but let's let's keep it let's get going so let's see it smells nice and i'm opening this on my bed i really shouldn't be opening this on my bed i read the instructions the other day i'm supposed to rinse my face but i'm not, not gonna rinse my face relax for 15 minutes with the mask on this is interesting i have a towel next to me because i don't exactly know I'm just gonna apply this on my face. I'm sorry, like I can't actually apply this. I'm so sorry. If you're expecting some skincare goo stuff, yeah, no. It was 15 kwacha in the. It's supposed to be a face mask, but don't. Let's leave me alone, okay? Anyway, let's let's begin. So the first question that I got was, how do you? Oh, how do you um how do you just trust god fully even though everything seems to be going wrong and you really want to trust him and let him do his will but at the same time it's just hard to believe that i think the best way i can answer this question is you guys know i've got a really strong and good relationship with god right and i try my best to always be honest with him even though te technically he knows what goes down in my life right but it's just always good to be able to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with him and what has helped me the most is the U version bible app for me that's like it's really helped a lot especially like in times when i don't really know what verses to read it has like the verse of the day and everything yeah but to answer this specific question one thing that i've really learned from my christian life is that no matter what you do god's will is always going to prevail no matter what you try to prevent no matter what you try to make happen you know you may have your plan but god has his will so it's always important to sort of align your life with his will because that way you know you're going to know that whatever happens in your life is as a result of the alignment of your life with his will now i'm not saying that when you align your life with his will everything's gonna be all smooth no girl i have days when i'm like okay god like why is this happening you know but what has really helped me the most is the fact that i read the bible so much to the point where it's like everything that happens happens for a reason like i know you guys hear these things over and over again like when time's right god's not gonna make it happen everything happens for a reason it's a time for everything and it's true you know so the minute you stop trying to fight you know god's plan for your life and i start to accept it especially in times difficult times are the biggest test tests are the biggest tests because it will be a situation where yeah it will be a situation where um you, you let's say you've written an exam and you want to pass it right and then you fail so obviously i like why have i failed you know why has this happened to me but instead of focusing on the reason instead of focusing on the bad thing that has happened try to focus on why did god let this happen what is he trying to teach you you know it's always about shifting your focus and always trying to see the reasons behind why certain things happen in your life i know it's for coming from a person like me and i'm probably thinking like now this girl has everything together so she doesn't go through anything you guys barely see the half of what i go through trust me there are days when i can't get out of the bed because i'm depressed right but it's always important to have that relationship with god pray every day and i can talk about this for hours but let's move on to the next question um i don't know everything about shaving down there okay so for me i have never tried a wax before um i know this is sort of irrelevant but i'm just putting this out there i'm not i've wanted to try a wax before right but i'm one person that like no waxing and me also one because it's expensive and yeah so i choose to like go the shaving route um i shave every every two weeks like every two weeks i try my best to shave every two weeks and there's this cream let me put you guys on eh? like seriously 
it works wonders so this is power cure let me try to uh, this is power cure tea tree healing balm is 19 kwacha in shop right if you don't find it in shop right i'm sure you can find it in umoyo umoyo health because it's from i think which valley is that chamba valley mm -hmm. guys every time that you shave down there right apply this because i'm one person that has extremely sensitive skin so i get razor bumps like a lot in case you don't want razor bumps it's basically like when you irritate the skin and then there are those you know ingrowns that come here yeah, i freaking hate those but this has been helping me i've been using it for the past um the past i think four or five months if i can say i started using it in february so yeah it's really been helping you know just like immediately after you change you apply this although my mom also tells me about i'm um, using methylated spirit but i don't use methylated spirit because guys in the world, so, so i can't manage methylated spirit but if you don't have this you can also use vaseline as an alternative just to kind of moisturize the skin because it's irritated after shaving i also use it in my armpits as well i think i have to shave my armpits tomorrow because it's been two weeks um so yeah and then for the razors i usually like using the big ones the pink ones or the orange ones i don't really buy like expensive stuff i don't use shaving cream i don't do all of that and for me i shave dry like i know some people will be like no you have to wet the area before yeah i'm sorry but i i'm a very express person so how to save money in uni this is a very good question actually because i love talking about money and finances and everything so Saving money is different for people, right? For me personally, I find it hard to save cash. So I prefer to have everything in my bank account. I have a smart account with... Why should I tell you guys which bank? Okay, I bank with FNB. I have a smart account with FNB, which has both a savings pocket and a current account, right? Um, so the student account is no I, I paid all the bank interests and everything like that. I deliberately didn't get a student account because I'm not going to be a student for a very long time. I literally have six months of school left, so there's really no point in getting one. So, yeah. Um, saving is different for everybody, right? For me, the way I personally do it is every time I get my monthly allowance or whenever, whenever I make money and I subtract like all my expenses and everything, obviously there are things that I term as needs when really they are wants like clothes but whatever little money i have left i always try my best to bank it or alternatively you can buy a piggy bank and then you can just put any little change that you have even a one quarter will go a long way so it's always good to have just buffer money but let me tell you guys something i am one person that you know they are the saving gurus that will come and tell you like no always save money always save money but in my head i'll be like okay cool like save money and then yeah so it's always good to save money just to have like buffer money just in case an emergency happens you have something to fall back on i'm just gonna apply this again because it's feeling nice on my face but this is the it's a very wrong way of applying this so don't be like me okay if you're gonna buy it do it the right way and follow the instructions i can tell about the instructions right now <laughs> so yeah yeah um basically you can have a piggy bank you can have a bank account just to kind of bank up the little change that you have even if it's a five kwacha a one kwacha two kwacha but one thing that also for me i'm not really big on saving i'm big on budgeting because i'll tell you guys this like i'll be straight up with you guys there have been months where i'll buy everything i need and want and not remain with so much money but i wouldn't necessarily need it because i already covered all my Course, you know i bought my medications i bought not that i'm sick but like i always make sure that i have painkillers i have got to so i have to buy garbage school, um magnesium what else my back aches a lot i have to buy things like capiderm i have to buy epi epiderm for my skin rashes like i'm not saying i'm sick but i'm not <laughs> emphasizing that you know all these medical expenses then on top of that food you know buying clothes going out all that kind of stuff so for me as long as as long as all of those costs have been covered even if i don't remain with much it's okay because i've already budgeted for everything so that's just kind of like a bit of advice i can give you when it comes to saving but buy a piggy bank if you don't have a bank account it, i think my mom piggy bank is full so yeah hey z big fan any study tips okay so for me oh first of all thanks girl 
<laughs> love you um for studying it's different for everybody okay but for me i have a study timetable that i follow strictly of course there are days when i don't even want to study okay but i just told myself like hey you have a degree to chase so study i for one thrive mid-morning and mid-afternoon not at night i can't study at night so you have to know what works for you how your brain operates you have to figure out which hours are best and it's not always about how many hours you put in what you put into the hours so if you're able to study continuously for an hour that's good enough girl sleep okay i'm not saying one study for an hour but don't focus too much on spending hours reading meanwhile the, what you're reading is not even making sense because if you can understand a math problem and solve it in 10 minutes that's by far way more beneficial than you're gonna have like if you're in class for three hours and not doing anything it's uni not high school uni because in uni you can dodge class and still pass not high school <sighs> so the next question is just confidence um okay for me my personal confidence thrives from my authenticity as a person I try my best to be myself all the time like i try my best to be myself because at the end of the day I'm the only Z, so I might as well like, you know, flaunt it, you know what I mean? This one is girls breaking away from toxic friendship. Okay, so this is actually like a very, not really sensitive topic, but it hits home because I have had my fair share of toxic friendships. Um, I don't know what exactly you meant by girls breaking away from toxic friendship, but I'll talk about it like briefly toxic friendship is bad it's gonna drain your mental health it's gonna drain your energy it's gonna give you wrinkly skin and pimples it's very hard to identify when a friend is being toxic i'm no, i know this from experience because you know even for me as a person even in my past friendships i'm not gonna mention names but it was very hard for me to actually identify and say this person is toxic you know because sometimes you may think this person is toxic but maybe you're the one who's the problem but there are a lot of red flags i can give you like for one lack of support lack of you know honesty lack of communication and aside those things for me genuinely like a friend should be someone i can count on someone who's not gonna bash me behind my back and say things when i'm when i leave the room you know say negative things about me when i leave the room so it depends on who you are as a person but i feel like if you get to a point where you think your friend is toxic then there's a reason why you think they're toxic and for me my advice to you is leave like no matter how hard it may be i honestly would rather deal with the grieving process of losing a friend than deal with a toxic friend because when you let go of toxicity you know out of your life you're making room for positive vibes you know what i'm saying so yeah so i feel like girl if you feel like your friend is toxic then there's a reason why you think that way and of course evaluate your options don't rush into you know breaking the friendship because you think this person is toxic talk about it but if it's like a constant cycle of you know and ending issues then there's definitely a problem there and my advice to you would be leave because trust me better people are coming along the way there's really no problem with breaking away from a toxic cycle and just live life girl so let's go to the next question it's consistent to your self-care and confidence okay so for me like this video is a self-care video so it's very perfect thanks for bringing this up but for me self-care happens on a monthly basis okay every month i have to do my hair every month i have to get my nails done every month i have to i shave like i said twice a month every two weeks that is since a month has got four weeks and in terms of confidence like i said it's all about authenticity one thing that has really helped me out is this book you guys i'm putting you guys on it's called you do you yeah you do you by sarah knight my hands are freaking dirty you do you by sarah knight i've never actually read any book by her prior to this one and i'm really really impressed and i've taken a little break from reading it this week because i was so busy but i'm actually getting back today it's part of the video um the best way to be confident is to be authentic because if you're pretending to be someone you're not trust me there'll be zero confidence because who exactly are you being confident as you know what i mean i know in the world of social media it's very hard to fit in you know everybody seems to have their lives together everybody seems to you know have perfect skin perfect hair but we all have insecurities there's nobody who's perfect i have insecurities okay and you know some of them i can't change so i just have to like accept it and be like okay this is me i'm gonna flaunt it regardless because 
what else can i do tell was made you know if there's something about you you're not happy about that you can change do everything you can to change it i'm not, i'm not talking about you know things like plastic surgery <laughs> of course but if you can afford it why not i have nothing against plastic surgery in my opinion I'd, i just would never do it to myself but you know it's all about just accepting yourself for who you are and being being you because at the end of the day there's no one like you there's no one who has your eyes no one has your nose no one has your lips no one has your face no one has your body and i know that you know there are stereotypical hot girls you know things they wear things they do that's why if you follow me on ig you will see that first of all from the way i dress to the to the answers i do to what i do for fun you will never see me wearing a slutty dress you will never see me wearing heels extensively because i don't like them you know and that's because other people do it doesn't mean i should have to do it you guys call me an influencer but you know i'm trying to put out a message and be like be you like if you are a tomboy and you like wearing sweatpants and hoodies do that you know do what you want like <laughs> seriously you do you that's the best way you're gonna be confident like just do what makes you happy you know if everybody is getting butterfly locks and you want to do a ponytail do it if everybody is doing is dying their hair and you want to keep your black hair black keep it like don't conform to what everybody else is doing because you think it's cool you know flaunt your authenticity and uniqueness because why do you want to be like somebody else who's gonna be like you you know so just a little piece of advice for my girl three questions um talking about how to how to deal with pressure how to deal with peer pressure of you know not wanting to drink when all your friends drink alcohol i'll start with that one i don't drink i'm not an alcoholic i don't smoke i don't do any of that nonsense um no offense to people that do it okay but like i personally just don't see the point of it i've never liked alcohol and never will and i flaunt on that okay i have friends that drink and smoke and that kind of thing we're not close because the people that i have around me i make sure uh, you know like we're on the same wavelength um but there's nothing to feel bad about guys i remember someone asked me like how do you deal with pressure of when your friends want to drink that you don't want just refuse I'm not gonna kill you <laughs> no like seriously i've had people come tell me like no you should tell me like no you should go to the club you should try it out you might like it i know i won't and i will not listen yeah and yeah like i said stay true to who you are there's nothing wrong with that the next one is how do i maintain perfect skin hair and clothes on a budget should one of them be neglected okay so like i talked about earlier about having a budget yeah you have to look at your financial capabilities okay like i said just because everybody is doing something doesn't mean you have to of course for me self-care is a huge priority like it's a really huge priority so you should always look at how much money you have you know always like my mom says always live within your means like if you're able to pay for something so it shouldn't be like a i keep rubbing so it's just it's just feeling nice you guys <laughs> If you're able to pay for something go ahead but if you know that you can't don't stress yourself looking for money coins here and there and that kind of thing i know it's not the question but just a piece of advice but you don't have to neglect any of them okay there's cheaper places to get things and cheaper places to do your hair as opposed to the very expensive places i have expensive taste so that's why you know i shop online i go to the fix words that kind of thing but there's so many places you can get nice clothes for cheap like an example i'll give you guys is mr price has got really nice clothes at a very affordable price she in as well the reason why i like she is because it's extremely cheap but that one you really have to it's advisable to buy in bulk to avoid paying for shipping because express shipping is about 20 pounds which is quite a lot especially if you're just buying like a bit of clothes um but if you save up like a three thousand quite sure you can get yourself like a whole new wardrobe of she in i have a whole clothing i'm gonna link it up here so you guys can check it out and then you can go shop from there another one that i can give you is even kamala like thrifting thrifting is also really good follow my page this wardrobe if you want to get some cute thrifted items it's also like a good place to get you know affordable clothes when it comes to hair okay like i talked about don't always follow the crowd and don't always go where everybody's going because of clout there are so many fire hairdressers just look for one that 
does your hair best you know i can tell you guys this there are people that know how to braid cornrows for 100 kwacha just look for them when it comes to nails um skincare i use beauty and it's 20 kwacha okay i'm not gonna this is this was 15 kwacha i'm not gonna spend 200 300 on products that i'm not gonna make for my face simply because it looks aesthetic and everybody else is using them you know and when it comes to nails look for someone that does them well at an affordable price nails are not cheap especially like the acrylics that we like they are not cheap but there are cheaper places to get them done so no you don't have to neglect any of them look at how much money you make or how much money that you know your financial capabilities look at how much income you have then weigh it against your expenses if you're spending money on things that are not gonna remain with anything then you know that you're kind of making like a mistake so always like weigh those the next one is how do you create healthy habits i have a whole your diary i'll link it up here so you can check it out i don't want to like spend too much time on things that i've really dealt with on my channel the next one is how do you juggle business and school so i found a system that works for me as much the best as i can give you i yeah i found a system that works for me i'm naturally business minded so someone who is not may struggle and i'm also naturally you know inclined with doing well in school so it's kind of i don't know what works so it all depends on you and the doses that you have in place is on how to take care of your hair so hair is different just like skin just like nails just like fashion hair is different for me personally i am currently using let me show you guys this is the hair food i'm currently using for my hair i got it in shop right i didn't even read the title or <laughs> the name of the hair food and whatnot i don't even use it on a regular basis i'm not the best when it comes to hair because i can't say that, like, my, okay my hair is perm it's really not that complicated i just apply this whenever i remember to for hair gel i use eco styling gel i'm currently using this one this is the one i use on my ponytail today eco style is the best i've tried soft and free i've tried um these are the cheap ones they flake so bad it's disgusting this is the best eco styler and then yeah in terms of hairstyles i just what i feel like doing that's it <laughs> the next one is how to find your style of fashion okay for me what helps me the most is obviously i know what i like so i go on pinterest and search for how to wear a black cropped puffer jacket and i see what the girlies are wearing and that's kind of how about I, that's how i find my inspiration for fashion if i'm being completely honest um i also follow people that have similar body types as me i think i've talked about this briefly in one of my videos i look for people like influencers that are around my age that have a similar not the same but like a similar body structure similar style and i see how they wear certain things then of course when i can afford it i buy it so that's kind of how i go about my business when it comes to like fashion and everything i will be doing a weekly lookbook soon <laughs> I'm just trying to find, gather the courage because filming and clothing will take time. You know, it takes a lot of dressing up and dressing up. So I'm trying to see when best I can do. But now that I've gotten my hair and I need to get some pictures and all that stuff. So I've combined the next two questions. It says essentials for university and how to find good friends in uni. So I'll start with good friends. I think I talked about this briefly. It depends on who you are as a person. You know, have people around you that support you, have people around you that love you for who you are. People that you uphold the same values with. That's the correct English. People that are not gonna talk about you when you leave the room and say negative things. It's hard to make friends, that's for sure. That's why I'm very picky with who I let in my life because energy is priceless. I'm not gonna allow every single person to know me personally. Like, nah. You can see me through the screen, but like actually seeing me, nah. <laughs> so there's no formula for making good friends, if I'm being honest with you. But energy never lies. And for me, I know that okay, this person seems dope. I see where it goes in the friendship, but energy never lies. Then the next one is essentials for university is completely relative. You know, I think of myself as a person that buys a lot of unnecessary things when going to school. Um, but I think the basics like your know, toiletries, you need your um, groceries, money, clothes, food, I books, you know, shoes. It depends on who you are as a person, really. It's it's completely relative so those are some of the things that i carry 
to school and then the last question is how to balance school when the teachers are moving so fast and they're moving at a slow pace okay so school is hard you have to sort of find a way that works for you you know i can sit here and give you advice it may not go completely well but try even though teachers will never go at the pace you want so you have to sort of find ways to pitch in and like catch up on what they're doing and girly is saying she's tired unfortunately that's school like i'm not gonna tell you that there's a way to like school and not get tired that's just what school is it's gonna be tiring never easy so all you have to do is just find the system that works for you and stick with it we're all different you know we all have different learning capacities no but not two people are the same so you just have to kind of find a way of juggling everything and yeah so i have managed to answer your questions if i didn't give you you know the answer you're looking for i'm sorry but i tried my best to give you guys what i thought was right as i'm trying not to be too repetitive because i know i've talked about some of these things on my channel like before so yeah I guess it's kind of also wraps up the this is wraps up the video i'm just gonna read my book now and probably like make some coffee while this mask is soaking on my face i'm not gonna leave it on for long because i don't want to regret doing this face mask but that's basically self-care day guys it's different for everybody for me it's doing my hair um getting food reading you know doing girl talks like this of course so if i had a real friend who was here with me would be talking but i'm talking to you guys through the camera so that's self-care for me but yeah so i'm gonna end the video here i'm just gonna show you guys the book i'm reading and then yeah i'm currently on page what page is this page 112 i don't know whether you guys can see yeah it's a really nice book you guys like it's a really nice book i advise if you it was how much was it how much was it it was 375 in book world for me i call these investments because i listen i like having i like being right up here not just in my books so yeah i feel like i'm gonna close the video off here though because i feel like we've dealt with everything so yeah i will see you guys in my next video which is gonna be next week tuesday like i said i'm gonna be leaning more towards doing vlog style videos because i feel like they are the best for me I like vlogging as opposed to sitting down because I'm actually struggling right now just to show the girl talk portion because I hate sit down videos. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and come back next week for another banger. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. It's probably gonna be on Tuesday. I don't know what I'm doing this weekend, but I'll definitely vlog for you guys because I've been enjoying the vlogs and I know you guys have been enjoying them too. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.